The St. Pete Pier is finished. Now it's time for the city, their leaders, to turn their eyes to the St. Pete's next big project, the future of the Tropicana Field site. The city is looking for proposals from world-class developers to help transform the 86-acre site and the city itself for generations to come. 10 Tampa Bay's Bo Zimmer explains what this could mean for the future of baseball in the city and how long the project might take. It's been five years since the city of St. Pete first floated the idea of redeveloping the Tropicana field site to help pay for a new stadium for the race. Now that process continues with the official call for proposals. We are looking forward to seeing world class uh, developers who are used to handling significant major projects that are generational in their impact. It's extremely rare to find such a large piece of land near the downtown of a growing community that can be completely reimagined. The mayor says the project is already drawing interest from around the world. It's a big deal and we want to make sure for the quality that we're expecting that we've given them ample time. Developers will have until January 15th to submit proposals and then the city will take another six months to gather public input before making a final recommendation to the city council. This is not where the city says we have 86 acres. Developer, you can come in, do whatever you want on the property. It is our intention to make sure that what we want to see on that site happens on that site. The mayor says the city's wish list includes new office space to help create jobs, new condos and apartments, including affordable housing, possibly a hotel and other amenities that would add to the city's quality of life and enhance existing features like Booker Creek. This is not something that's going to pop up overnight. It will take years and years for all the development that potentially is going to occur on the land to occur. The big question remains the future of the race. The developers will be asked to create plans with and without a stadium. But the, ma but the mayor has already said he expects work to begin on that property before the team's lease expires in 2027. A lot of fans wonder if the Rays will finish out their contract. They're talking about leaving, but they'll have to pay the city if they want out of their contract early. Right now, those payments would run $3 million a season. In 2023, they would drop to $2 million a season through 2026. The Rays would also have to pay up on those remaining, remaining bond payments on the TROP, or about $2 million a year. The city tells us that's just for starters. The team would also have to cover other legal fees and costs.